Ah, hello everyone, no respawns here, hope you're doing well and having a grand weekend. So we're back in Sunshine Tidings Co-op and following on from my hippie -y slightly builds for the whole premise to the entire place, I wanted to do a kind of park truck that had been turned into a little homestead but also make use of the ground here so it's going to be like a little shack basically truck thing that has farms in front of it or a farm singular rather because it's quite small so um the image i use is i'm going to pop up now it's use this one because it's a little bit different than your kind of traditional truck build that you might have found in fallout 4 ones that i've done i'll also put a link in the description to the concept artist who kind of gave me the inspiration i discovered them on pinterest they do some quite cool stuff so definitely check them out if you want to get a few ideas but yeah so the whole thing was is kind of using the image that i'd kind of got the initial inspiration from is I liked the way that it wasn't, because it'd be easy in USO to actually, there's actual kind of a, what is it, a, a trailer thing basically to put on the end and I could have built a house on top of that. But then it was kind of a bit more noticeably raised off the ground and that's what I initially did, but it just made the whole little, I wanted to make the, uh, the, the kind of container at the back of the truck myself and kind of use various bits. So like these kind of door, um, walls to the windows there are from the junk wall collection. And just kind of gives me excuse to kind of create something. Also, it's a bit lower in the ground. Now, I did obviously kind of spend a little bit of time figuring out how I'm going to make this. One, efficiently, because I actually made this once before. And it was so poorly constructed uh, that I decided against. Now, firstly, what I'm doing here with this wall here is I, I don't know why I ended up using that wall because I, I literally have no idea why I did that so I don't show you I do show in the tour basically I replaced it with just a plain metal wall from the metal tab that matched the same kind of green metal as the shack don't forget you do need the unlock summon objects if you want this kind of scrappy look so there we go I'm gonna get the truck here now the reason why I've made what I'm gonna make is because that the truck squeezes quite comfortably now a quick note I've mentioned this before but you will see me you will see the bushes appear and disappear and reappear quite a lot during the time of this video. The reason being is because I have to keep disabling the scrapping mod because for whatever reason this particular area was a bit of a nightmare. So I pop this here like this, so it just it looks like the, the, the kind of container at the back of the truck. I don't know why I put that windowed one there. <laughs> no idea why. But it basically it kind of connects, so this is actually built from the remnants of whatever was there before. So it just kind of looks a bit more attached, but at the same time it's not actually kind of on a flatbed um, trailer it's actually kind of sunk into the ground a little bit more you could also sink one of the trailers into the ground but it just looks a little bit weird I, I preferred this look and I was kind of going on this image quite a lot that I showed you earlier so I kind of went with this and I'm quite pleased with the the overall look I also really like the colors as well I quite like this kind of scrappy green Diamond City-esque uh, metal that has been added to the USO mod because it just gives me a bit more it contrasts a little bit nicer, especially when you mix it with the rusty bits uh, with the wooden, because you know how I like that. I like to build out wood quite a bit. It looks quite cool. A lot of the, the traditional metal pits are a little bit too... I oh, know the, the, the colour contrasts a bit too much for me at times. So I'm making the kind of little awning area, but I'm not actually going to use an actual awning. Instead, we're just going to kind of use the shack upper floors. This is a, a relatively s a simple, but it took take me quite a while uh, to kind of put together because I had an idea. I was going to do this the other day or two ago actually because it was Saturday um, last night. But I was going to do kind of, I, I basically built the, the basics of the truck but I'd done it on actual the trailer. It just didn't look, it just didn't work people. It just didn't work. I didn't like it. So I scrapped the idea. You know what I'm like. You know what I'm like. Unless I, unless I like something. I know it's been like two years nearly. Um, nearly actually in fact two years since Fallout uh, came out or it's already been two years. No, I think it's nearly been two years. And even though I've done like hundreds of videos, I still want them to look really good and I don't want to make shit. So yeah, for example, mentioning the stupid. So basically like, I'm trying to, basically because I use the scrapping mod to remove loads of bushes because there's loads of just kind of debris and shit around here. Especially those really, really kind of like massive bushes. So one thing that I hate about Bethesda is they just never occurred to them that maybe we want to tidy up a little bit. Um, the problem is, is, with the scrapping mod, it kind of messes with sinking things into the ground a little bit, so you can have a little trouble, which is why you'll just, as I said, you'll see me, you'll, you'll, you'll see the bushes just kind of pop back and then disappear. So use a bit of scaffolding. I'm always quite cautious about the scaffolding. I tend to not use it very much, but I actually quite like what I've done here, which 
is grand. I don't know, for me, scaffolding always stands out way too much. It's a bit of a bit of a pain in the dick. You may notice as well, just put a highlight there. To get the the scaffolding floor bits, that's the technical phrase, to um, scaffolding floors, <laughs> uh, to actually attach to the top floor. Because of just the order of attaching, basically I had to attach a small standard four piece from the wood tab and then attach the scaffolding floor for that because it won't attach otherwise. Because, because, fucking, of course, yeah. I do, by the way, eventually sort those stupid robots out you see wandering around. <laughs> and what I've gone and done is I've just assigned them to invisible rugs for now. But you just, during this video, I don't do it until the decoration phase, but you'll just see them wander around us constantly. So sorry about that. Also, I had an absolute nightmare getting this connected just due to the thickness of this, that wall right there. So you won't even go in right now because fuck my life, basically. It doesn't like me. But it's fine because of the glory of that as that is pillars. We can basically just squeeze it in. We will squeeze it in. Just check this out. Check this out. See, it's all fine. It's all okay. It's all grand. Doesn't look stupid either. Is it? Look at that. It's fine. But those stupid robots. That that robot, by the way, is Jezebel. In case you're wondering, those of you who played Automatron, I well, I didn't like Jezebel. No one likes Jezebel. She's a bit of a bitch. So I made her a floating pink robot who didn't have any weapons but had arms so she could do stuff. Yep. Yeah. That's it. And the other robot I eventually sorted out. But basically, it's it's quite a quite a straightforward when I go through this to me bloody ages. It's one of those builds that when I cut when I was editing chopping down the footage, which is all I do by the way, I always record my narration post, unless it's like a mod review or something, or kind of a, a narrated tour I want to kind of do it live. But in this one, I, I remember spending way more time on this than I ended up actually doing. I did spend a lot of time on the decoration. I really like the way it looks and it blends in quite well, especially with the with the last structure that I did. Sunshine Tidings, by the way, those of you who didn't watch my last video, did is going for kind of a bit more of a kind of traditional hippie look. So for example, it's gonna have mostly solar power with wind as well, so no kind of generators, things like that. It's gonna look quite cool. Oh, by the way, upon request, I will be doing soon, potentially, well, no, it will be soon, another kind of mod review, not, not mod review, a, a video on the mods that I use, basically. So kind of like my actual load order, all the mods I use currently, because I, I do have deleted quite a few of them. So you guys can know what I'm using currently, because it keeps constantly gets requests, and I realize I haven't done one for about six months at this point. So that'll be next week sometime. So you can stop fucking asking. I don't mind you asking, yeah, but I just can't be asked to answer. And no, I will never put a list of mods at the bottom of my videos because it would just be too long and I can't be bothered. <laughs> these, by the way, these catwalks are really, really nice. This is from a USO, in structures, scaffolding and bull tracks, quarry, catwalk stuff. There's quite a lot of stuff that I just forget exists. I just forget and I need to kind of make a build that utilizes these a bit more. They're quite nice. It's a quite a nice structure. Don't worry, by the way, I do end up making the railings look quite a lot nicer than they do now. It's just they're being a little bit twatty. Look at those robots. They just they just wander between those two pieces. Look at them. Look at them. God, it's really annoying when you're actually paying attention to it. Sorry. It's all right. Don't worry. They're now standing around. The idea is I want this to be kind of like, not robot utopia, but ish. So basically, um, I'd glitched in some... This is me opening my menu because I forgot to chop out my menu opening. Sorry about that. But basically, so um, I'd... So you there, I'd glitched in some of the fence. I'll show you the second one. It's just I had to re-enable the scrapping mod again and I cut that piece of footage out. So this is just, I just wanted kind of like a little area, really. This is the, you'll see in the tour, this will be where I put some, some what we call some flower pots and things like that. So it's in structures, fences, whoa there, whoa there Sally, chain link fences, and I put chain link fence with like a little bit kind of a barrier underneath. It looks really cool, it looks very grand. It looks very grand. And also suits. I really like this build quite a bit. It's quite simple. But as you'll see with the decoration in a moment, it does, it looks quite grand. It looks pretty sweet. I'm actually, spoiler, you don't know this, right? I always play as Railroad, but I'm actually finally finishing this playthrough. I'm just kind of starting playing it. So I'm playing as the Brotherhood of Steel, so I'm actually wearing a Brotherhood of Steel uniform right now. There we go. So, I'm a traitor. Or something, or just a bit of a knob. I know, I just thought that was interesting, because I've been literally wearing that duster and my kind of railroad outfit for ages. Paladin Dancer's just round the corner with my power armor. Honestly, I'm basically some kind of railroad Minuteman traitor, but it's good fun. It also means, because I already built up, those you remember my 
my airport build, my Brotherhood of Steel build, it means that I get to like properly RP and hang around there. And also with the USO mod adding NPCs, I've now actually got Brotherhood of Steel guards there. It's really cool. Very grand. So there we go. Sorry about the darkness, by the way. I just I couldn't be asked to go sleep just to finish off what was basically just popping this down here. The tour's nice and slow, so you will see anything, and I will highlight changes that I've made. Grand. So here it is. You can see it looks really, really nice. So as you, I've moved some of the solar-powered equipment uh, from the kind of previous video, kind of on the side, because it looks quite cool. So you've got the solar panels there. That switch right there is the thing that actually provides the power, and I've got some kind of ventilation as well. We'll pop up here first. It looks really cool. It really blends quite well. I especially like said this kind of rusted green metal. So this is more stuff from the solar powered stuff. Next, like I said, soon a video. My next Fallout video, how about that, will be a kind of list of all my mods. So that way, if you're wondering, next video I'll show you. So I've got my little kind of rest area up here. I made a little stand for my, for my umbrella. Oh, I like this. I still don't know what else to put, though. I've, I've got a Sunshine Tidings. It's got a lot of space that I don't know what to do with yet, but I'm kind of using these two spaces first. So I've got little farms. I built a little walkway. Looks very cool, this, actually. I forgot to put a door on. I remembered that when I was doing the tour, and I was like, oh, fuck it, I'll just highlight the fact that I haven't done the door yet. So there's no door! Mm. But I will, it's fine. So I've got this little walkway here, just to break up the ground a little bit. Turns that area into kind of like a bit more of a niche-growing area, I don't know. I especially like this area here. Got my bookshelf, a little typing area, place to hang out, which looks quite nice. And I've got my bedroom, so it's very, very nice. Anyway, I hope you guys like that, I'll give you a few ideas. Uh, it's a very, very cool video, so I'm very, very sorry, big build rather, I'm quite pleased with this one, so I hope you guys like it. As always, follow me on Twitter at NoRespawns, I'll have a new video soon. You guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. Take care.